So, what we're doing here today is I'm playing up against Anoverb, representing Team The Flashfire, against Team Brave Squires. I uh, would we'll be playing the Dark Draft portion of this, me against Noverb. Uh, we've already had the challenge from Noverb, so we're just going to jump right in. Feel free to ask questions throughout. I'm going to go through my picks as I make them, and my plays as I think about them for the large, most part. So I'd probably take Lightning Storm here. I really like the card. It's really solid. Great way to win and finish off games. Lightning Storm, Recall Lightning Storm. Lurking Giant is a very real possibility because that's just a very strong card in general. As an ambush champion, it's a great thing to put in front of a turn one Juggernaut. And potentially a few other cards. Uh, Winter Fairy is also a very solid card. The other two, Plentiful Dead and Bellowing Minotaur, significantly less so. But I think I'm going to take the Lightning Storm. Even though Lurking Giant is very much consideration. Lurking Giant has been very good has been has worked very well for me in the past few drafts or so. Ooh, definitely Fireball Plague. I could take Rain of Fire to go with my Fireball and my Lightning Storm. I do love Plague, but and I almost never go Wild Burn, so it could be a mistake. Rain of Fire is pretty solid, though. Hmm. I love Plague, though. I think I'm gonna go try Rain of Fire. Probably Unquenchable Thirst, maybe Watchful Gargoyle. We do have Lightning Storm Rain of Fire, so we have answers to Muse and Thought Plucker that are fairly effective. Uh, Watchful Gargoyle is just really solid. Uh, primarily as a defensive tool, you can largely think of it as a fumble that prevents all damage except for Breakthrough. Unquenchable Thirst, even without um, other evil cards in your deck, is still fine. Pack Alpha is definitely also fine, especially since we're in Wild. Transform's okay, Chomp's okay. I think I'm gonna take the Watch for Gargoyle, though. Take that Apocalypse now. Board clears are great. Possibly Wolf's Call. I haven't seen Flashfire or Wither. But I don't want Angel of Mercy, and I don't really want Timebender. And I do have Reign of Fire, so Angel of Mercy is better. And it's early, and I can get back Watchful Gargoyle, if nothing else. The odds of my opponent getting Amnesia, as opposed to me, aren't great for him. And that's an off-turn play, so is Wolf's Call, but Angel of Mercy is hard to answer without a gold. I'm going to try Angel of Mercy, it might be a mistake. Thought Plucker. I would love to have High King and Priest of Kalnor to go with my... Angel of Mercy, uh, Ceasefire is also pretty decent, and Forked Lightning's okay, especially since we have lots of burn already. But Thought Plucker is just really powerful, especially since we have Lightning Storm, primarily Fireball though, and Rain of Fire. Just super strong. Ooh, interesting. Probably Corpse Taker because we have um, Thought Plucker. Just a card you really want to get back frequently. Avenging Angels also solid as an on-turn gold punisher. It works with our Angel of Mercy. And with Thought Plucker and Angel of Mercy, there's a very decent chance my opponent will have to spend his gold first on my turn. So we're going to take Avenging Angel. Bitten's also a possibility, and so is Faithful Pegasus, but... Hmm. So it's definitely between Sea Titan and Muse, although I love Noble Unicorn. <sighs> I think it's Sea Titan. Sea Titan's just so hard for him to deal with. And Muse, I do have Fireball. And Watchful Gargoyle if he tries to attack with it. I think Sea Titan's overall stronger too. <sighs> yeah, Sea Titan. Shin of the Sands is fine. Demon Breach is fine. Trihor is bad. Dark Assassin's only good with loyalty. And we don't have great loyalty so far, so... These are the picks. Yeah, General Drip. The zeros are very powerful, but overall, I think Sea Titan's just better. This is another really nasty pack. I don't want to give Dark Knights, but I will. I don't want to give Spike Trap, but I will. And I don't want to give Erase, but I will. Because Amnesia is really powerful, particularly with Angel of Mercy. 
But yeah, literally Dark Knight, Erase, and Spike Trap are all amazing cards. Spike Trap particularly because I have Thought Plucker. <sighs> if I were my opponent, I'd take the Dark Knight Spike Trap here. But I definitely think I want the Amnesia to bit my Angel of Mercy better. But it's a really tough choice. Spike Trap makes my Thought Plucker better. And my Angel of Mercy better. I do have damage here. Oof, this is just really hard. I think Spike Trap might be the pick here. Because it does make my Thought Plucker a lot better and my Angel of Mercy a lot better. Although, Amnesia makes my Angel of Mercy better. And I am fairly aggressive with this deck so far. So I think I'm actually going to take Spike Trap. I'll take another Gold Dragon. Another blitzing, health gaining, good champion that goes with Angel of Mercy. And I think I want Lying in Wait. I could go Cave Troll with my two wild cards. And I think I might want more zeros. Especially since Lying in Wait will be burned, so my C time will be protected. I haven't seen either Lash or Flashfire, and I don't have great answers for them. But I do have Avenging Angel Gold Dragon. So let's go Cave Troll. Probably Drain Essence here. I have Avenging Angel and Gold Dragon, so I don't really need a ton of health gain. I have some blockers for Steel Titan. Steel Golem. Steel Titan's the new card. Memory Spirit is definitely a possibility. But Drain Essence is just so powerful. And denying that to my opponent when I have some burn is pretty good. White Dragon is great, especially since I have some one cost good cards I want to play on turn. It's even fine, it's just a 0 5 5 airborne champion. Succubus is okay, Standard Bear is pretty bad, Wolf Companion is pretty bad. My zero, my slow champions are currently 1, 2, well, not that one, 1, 2, 3, 4, so I could take another one. And I do have the Spike Trap, which makes Succubus a lot better, and White Dragon too, so. Palace Guard. Yeah, almost certainly Palace Guard. I do need more off-turn plays now, but Palace Guard just goes great with my Angel of Mercy, my Gold Dragon, my White Dragon, and it's just a super powerful card. The other possibility is Zombie Apoc here, uh, because I haven't seen Flash Fire or Wither or Drinker. I don't personally like that combo in Dark Draft, uh, but I know a lot of people who do. But Palace Guard is just too powerful not to pick. Could go Angel of Light. I think I want the Pyromancer and maybe the Angel of Light. Yeah, I think so. My draw is pretty weak though. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I really need draw. So Pyromancer helps a little bit in that regard. What's my zero cost looking like? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. That's also pretty low. Courageous Soul could be worthwhile. I have so much health gain already. That gets me another off turn threat. I think I want the zero here. Probably Word of Summoning. Off turn play. Threat. Zero. All things I'm looking for right now. I'm a little bit scared of Lash, but I have plenty of health gain. So I'm not that afraid. Triceratops is also threatening, since I don't have that much removal. But Word of Summoning also has Recycle, so it draws me some card. It draws me a replacement card. I think I definitely just want to draw twos. One, two, three, four, five, six evil. With six evil, I would usually still take the Medusa, just because I think it's that powerful. But I really need draw. I need draw more than possible Medusa, I think. Although it's close. Let's check again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some of those aren't the most consistent. Some of them don't actually draw cards. They just essentially replace themselves. I, I definitely think I want to draw twos. Medusa's super tempting, though. But I think I just need to draw twos more. Hmm. Murderous Necromancer would be nice. Although I know my opponent doesn't have Medusa and Angel of Death, so both of those are very nice for me. The pick is either Warrior Golem or Crystal Golem here. 
My stage is currently one, two, three, four, five, five. So odds of getting loyalty aren't great. I'm going to take the crystal golem here, especially since I did pick up that spike trap. So picking up that spike trap has rewarded us so many times over in this draft. We'll see how it does in the actual game, though. Ancient Chant, almost certainly. Slinic Assault, very possibly. No, I, I think I want the Angelic Protector. Since I know my opponent has the Amnesia and I don't, I have to be aggressive. And Slinic Assault can be aggressive, but it generally takes multiple turns for it to actually do anything. And we don't want the Soul Hunter because we have we know both of the discard cards in core only, Slinic Assault and Thought Plucker are either in our deck or burned. So yeah, Angelic Protector definitely for the aggression. Force Mage or Guilt Demon. Both of these are solid. Probably Force Mage. It answers Muse and protects my Thought Plucker. Guilt Demon is amazing. I have zero way to banish cards and discard pile. But Force Mage. And I do have to play aggressively with this deck. Since I literally have, I will lose a draw out battle. Force Mage can go face. Uh, yeah, Force Mage is just super solid. Unfortunately, we haven't seen Drinker. I don't think we've seen Drinker, Flash Fire, or Wither. And we know we passed Zombie Apocalypse, so. Drinker combo is a very real possibility. Oh, right, Corpse Taker does. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're going to be running into Drinker almost certainly. And we don't have the Amnesia, so we'll just play carefully. I'm going to take the Flame Strike here. Obviously, we're, gonna kill, we're going to have to kill our opponent. And Frost Giant for the same reason. Time Walker. Ooh, Time Walker is actually a nice answer to... No, it's not, because I don't have a uh, Surprise Attack, and Zombie Apocalypse will be played off turn. And it doesn't really synergize that well with our deck. So yeah, Frost Giant. Alright. So we drafted a fairly aggressive deck. With a lot of high power cards. Uh, we're going first, which we don't want pretty much any of this for going first. Uh, we're definitely going to keep Palace Guard. We might pitch all of the rest of this. Uh, ideally, we're looking for like a Gin of the Sands, Demon Breach... Cave Troll, Succubus, and that's about it. I'm definitely keeping Palace Guard because it is that strong. A pro hmm. I would like to keep a zero. I could keep Corpse Taker. <sighs> this is decent for control, but control isn't really what we're looking for here. Hmm. I think we just keep Palace Guard. Because we need to find, we would ideally like a strong on-turn play and a strong off-turn play. And none of these are strong turn one plays, except for potentially Palace Guard if I pass and my opponent decides to play something. Alright, there's Gin of the Sands rewarded. Yeah, play that draw card. Alright, this is pretty solid. We have no zeros, which definitely hurts a lot. But we have off-turn plays. Alright, that's awesome for us. We have off-turn plays, we have plenty of draw, we have palace guard. The only thing we're missing is zeros, which is definitely a big loss. I think we just take five here. I mean, I could throw a pyromancer in front of it, but I know my opponent might have plague. Almost, uh, we might have burned plague. I'm not sure. But we have health gain in the deck, and we have a lot of the burn too. So taking 5 damage doesn't hurt too much. And we have the Sea Titan, so we know we can't get it back. And we could just drop the Palace Guard on top of it on our turn if we wanted to. Pretty sure the Mighty Blow is burned, but I'm not positive. Blue Dragon. Ooh, that lines up so well with Pyromancer. That's incredible. Alright, that's really good. That's less good, but Reign of Fire will tread this. And I'm pretty happy to use it on turn. I'm going to attack with Jin first. Ooh, Drain Essence is great off turn too. 
and then I'll probably rain a fire and pass. If he spends his gold to not put a threat in play, I'll play Pyromancer. But yeah, this is pretty great fireball, uh, rain of fire. I can't save it till off turn, unfortunately, because then Dark Knight will be unbreakable again. But clear my opponent's board, deal 5 damage to him. Pretty great. Pretty great. Drain, Ess Drain Essence follow-up, Crystal Golem follow-up. We're in a pretty solid position here. Yep. So if I would have attacked, it would have made no difference. And we're very happy with our board state right now. I could play Crystal Golem. We passed Zombie Apoc. We didn't see Wave of uh, Hurricane, and we didn't see... What's it called? Inheritance of the Meek. So I want to save my Crystal Golem, because it's pretty likely has an off-turn board clear here. So I'm just going to draw two with Faint. Not bad. And then I'll probably drop Palace Garden Attack. Or drop Palace Garden Pass. I could attack with Wolf first, but then he probably just blocks it. Yeah, let's Palace Guard. Eh. I don't see a situation where I get... Nah, nah I'm going to pass. Probably Hurricanes here. That'd be my guess. But we have Spike Trap, Drain Essence off turn, which is really good. Ancient Chant, too. He'll probably play an Ambush Champion since he has six cards in hand or Hurricane, as I said. Interesting. So I think I want to attack with Double Wolf Token. I could get punished by an Ambush Champion, an Ambush Zero. But we have Watchful Gargoyle. Word of Summoning. He might be willing to trade. Let's see what happens. I'd like to get to the point where I can just go crazy. He might also just not block now. And if he doesn't and attacks, we have Spike Trap. So, a lot of good things here for us. And if we would have attacked with one, we wouldn't have been able to make this double attack. Which the double attack might be wrong. But I like it here. And he, with Wave of Transformation, he might be trying to set up for that Drinker we know he probably has, since we saw none of the combo pieces for it. But ideally... Alright, that's fine. We didn't see Brave Squire, though. I did not think about Brave Squire. But if he Brave Squires, that's fine. We still have Spike Trap. Eh, sure. I'm fine getting that card out of his hand. To lose two wolves. Yeah, I am 100% fine with that trade. Since we have Spike Trap. But it's really looking like, based on the draft and how this game is shaping up, that we're being rewarded very highly for taking the spike trap over the amnesia. I should have checked beforehand to make sure I had enough cars to recycle, but like I do, I want Rain of Fire first because I'm probably going to have to burn out my opponent. But that spike trap was huge there. Going down to 14 against his deck is probably fine because like we said we have most of the burn but this is pretty nice with wave of transformation in hand if he doesn't hmm. uh, I don't want to just throw down a crystal golem if he draws if he just draws which I think is pretty unlikely I'll draw there's a very real chance I drain essence just to clear the way for my palace guard but since we know our opponent has Wave of Transformation and probably other off turret board clears, we really don't want to overcommit. Yeah, we're drawn here. 100%. We do not want to play into a Wave of Transformation, even though we could punish with an a Avenging Angel. Getting the card draw here is just really valuable. And we still have a ways to go before our opponent can draw out. And we have our off turn Punisher if he wants to answer this Palace Guard. Cease fire, that's fine. Unfortunately, we don't have a great way to punish that. <sighs> hmm. We're at seven cards in hand. Cease fire is really obnoxious. I could see Titan back my palace guard. That has some value. I could 
steal four and draw. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Yeah. Because we have tons of burn in our deck. And then we have Angelic Protector as an off-turn play. Yeah, that's what's happening. Well, let's draw two first. And we're drawing uh, just to make sure that I don't get Wave of Transformation before I can do something. And I'm going to pass. He'll probably use like a Flashfire or a Wither to kill off this Force Mage. If he does, I'll play White Dragon. If he doesn't, I won't. Alright. Because my board is threatening enough without developing the White Dragon. And we have Angelic Protector into Avenging Angel, which is very solid. And this is why we took the Angelic Protector instead of Sonic Assault. Because Sonic Assault would do absolutely nothing here, while Angelic Protector, Angelic Protector is really good. So we're being, we're being rewarded very heavily for a lot of our decisions we made. That spike track was really, really big. I mean, I haven't attacked with anything that he could have spike trapped, so on that axis, it wasn't amazing. But Amnesia wouldn't have done a ton here. Uh, he could army the Apocalypse, but that's fine. It's not that scary. Especially since we have Drain Essence and even Angelic Protector. And he's not going to do it this turn because it would be just Dark Knight. Sure, Memory Spirit and Ogre Mercenary too, but that's not that impressive. But we're in great shape here. So what I assume is going to happen... Well, I don't know what he's going to do on this turn, but on if he spends his gold, which he has to, I'll Angelic Protector, he Wave of Transformations me, I Avenging Angel, probably White Dragon. But we'll see about the White Dragon. There's the Flash Fire, puts him down to 5, which puts him in range of Lightning Storm. He was already in range of Flame Strike. There's Amnesia, that's fine. So we might be seeing the army play. It's looking possible. Ooh, there's Fireball. We just need to find 2 damage. We did mulligan our Lightning Storm, though. So we'll have to draw into Flame Strike. Since that's the only thing that's not at the bottom of our deck now. But we're in such good shape. Yep, there's the army. So. White Dragon would have been a good play. But I can clear his board at the very least, if nothing else. And I could always fireball down the Ogre Mercenary to make room for my Palace Guard, which makes room for my Angel of Mercy. And that's probably what's going to happen here. Attack with Angelic Protector, he blocks in the air. Uh, fireball down the Ogre Mercenary, play Palace Guard, he Wavered Transformations, I Avenging Angel. That's going to be the, what happens this turn. A Brave Squire would be really bad for me, though. There's the Brave Squire. <sighs> I don't think Coin Fireball is worth it. Hmm. Maybe it is. Yeah, it actually probably is. It clears off all of that, if nothing else. And I do still have Drain Essence backup. And White Dragon. Or I could... Um, Frost Giant. So we know our opponent has Wave of Transformation. They... Could still have Zombie Apoc too, and with two unbreakable card well one unbreakable card, that'd be pretty bad for me. We know he's used his army, uh, not army, uh, amnesia. So that makes Angel of Mercy better off turn. I don't see too much value in forcing I might just fireball pass, because we know we might have Lurking Giant. <sighs> Drawing is also a possibility. I could Avenging Angel, 
force him to board clear. White dragon to draw a card and get a threat in play. Hmm. Lots of potential lines here. That brave squire was really bad. I don't think coin fireball is really what I want. Hmm. Maybe it is. Yeah. And then white dragon afterwards. Relieves a lot of pressure. Leaves me a blocker. I have a blocker for that. And we'll end turn. He'll spend his gold. I'll play white dragon. I'm not sure if that was correct. But he has to play a blocker here, otherwise palace guard. And this makes his wave of transformation weaker. Hunting raptors. Mighty blow and lash. Ooh. So he has to have a ambush zero champion here, or he's just dead. And he has a play because it's not just passing. Oh, maybe not. Looks like he might have been taken off guard by the palace guy still being able to attack. But it looks like his plan probably would have been to uh, mighty blow lash his. Yeah, looks like that's the game. Good game. Good game, Noverb.